చేయగలుగుతున్నా హలో 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 అలా ఆడిబుల్ హలో అంకిత హలో 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 అన్న ఆడేవా హలో 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 ఆడేబుల్ ఓకే జస్ట్ కంటిన్యూ అనదర్ ఫర్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ మినిట్స్ దెన్ విల్ ఎండ్ వన్ వీ హ్ వెబినార్ హైట్ similarly you know what will be new values 150 is width and uh, 300 is width am i correct yes yes no 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 now what i will define a new function to do this, to do this. Okay. Okay. now what is that new function which will be doing it will be altering the attribute values it means i am changing the values of attributes using objects to justify this statement that is objects are mutable i am defining this function now what this define function is defined how it is defined is this function takes three arguments now what those three arguments are rect david and d height okay now what this rect is an alias for home box yeah i will just call a function here now what is that function see what were the uh, earlier values for width and height 100 and 200 was the earlier values which were already defined now now i call this function 
grow underscore rectangle box 50 100 it means to what values i will be modifying i just pass those with an object box now when i call this function now what this happens it comes here to the definition so this box is correct 50 is david 100 is d height now uh, a rect is replaced with box. It means box dot width equal to box dot width plus d width. Correct? I repeat again. Box dot width is equal to box dot width plus d width. It means plus equal to, you know this, how this operator works. Correct? No. Now, box dot width equal to box dot width. Already it has got its own value. How much? 100. Now, D width, how much I have passed? 50 I have passed. So, 100 plus 50 will be 150. So, rect dot width or box dot width will be 150. Similarly, box dot height equal to box dot height plus D height. So, box dot height is how much? 200. Plus 100 which I am passing for D height. And that is that is what the value I am adding to like this rector dot height or box dot height. So now what is the new value for this? 200 plus 100 to 300. Now, now this rector dot width is 150. Rector dot height is 300. Okay. Now, now I, just, I just use those. So box so dot width after defining, after executing this function, function see, I am printing over here box dot width, box dot height. See, the, see, the earlier values were 150, uh, uh, no. no. What, what was the earlier value? 100 and 200. Now, now after modifying this, it has got its own new value 150 and 300. 100 got to 150, 200 got to 300. Now again, I call this function. Now again, now again, I call these attributes. attributes. Now again, now again what? what? See, this, See, this function can be called, be called any number of times, we know. Correct? Correct? See, when I call this function again, now what was the earlier value? 150 and this was 300. So 150 plus 50 is 200. So 300 plus 100 is 400. Correct? I hope this function, small function is clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask. Yes? Any doubts? No, sir. Okay. okay. Shall I continue? Yes. Yes, okay. Fine. Fine. No. No. Uh, if I write as x equal to 2, next y equal to x, what does it mean? x equal to 2, y equal to x. It means I am copying the x value to y. Similarly, even an object can also be copied. You can read over here. Now what is that? Aliasing can make a program difficult to read. Okay, copying an object is often an alternative to aliasing. And that we will see. It means duplicating an object. Uh, what I just given an example: x equal to two, y equal to x. It means y is also equal to two. Means I am copying the variable value. Similarly, I can copy even the objects also. It means I am duplicating an object. No. No. Now what is, now what is this? P1, P1 equal to point. So now what does this line mean? P1, P1 is, is an object which is created for a class, for a class point. point. P1 dot x equal to 3, P1 dot y equal to 4. It means I am assigning the attribute values. Next. Now to do this copy business, okay, or copy function, I have to import this. Import copy. This is an inbuilt library. I have to use this to use this copy function. Okay. okay. Next. Next. See, P1, P1 was, was the first object. Now I am, now I am creating more one more object called P2. Correct. Correct. Next. Next. Now, now again, again, no need to write as P2 dot x equal to 3 and P2 dot y equal to 4. No. I will be just writing a line like this. What is that? P2 equal to copy dot copy of P1. Which means P1 dot x is equal to P2 dot x. P1 dot y, y equal to P2 dot y. Am I clear? Am I clear?
Any doubts? Any doubts? No, sir. Okay. Okay. See here. P one and P two contain the same data, but they are not the same. Am I clear? I repeat again. What? P one and P two they contain same data, but they are not the same point. It means both the objects have got different memory locations. Next. Next thing. For first object P one, it can have. Any number, any number of attributes. Similarly, P2, P2 also, can, also have can have any number of attributes. For example, P1 may, P1 may have two attributes as x and y. And P2 can have x, y, z, p, different number of attributes. Okay. But but both the objects, okay, okay, being for a single class, can have any number of attributes. Next, Next they can, they can copy, copy each, each other values. values. Am, I Am I clear? Okay. See here. P one is P two. This, this. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll come. come I'll come to this point first. Print, print underscore point, point of P one. Now this function already we have defined. Correct. Correct. What now what is in P one? If I just, if I just write as P one, P1, which is an which is object. An object Will means it represents its attributes as x and y. That is p one dot x, p one dot y. Now when I go to this function, there I have seen percentage g, percentage g, correct? With those values, those values will be printed. The comma for which I have assigned now. Next, similarly, print point p two i right. Means now p two I have copied. It means what p one has now p two will be having same thing. It can, it can have same data, data but both are not same. Now, how to, now, how to justify this? P1 is P2. P1 is P2. Whether, it, Whether it will be true or false, it will be, it will be perfectly, perfectly false. false. Even though, Even though it may, it may have same, same data, data, but objects, objects are, different. are different. P1 is P1 different, P2 is different. P2 is different. Even, Even though, though they have different. same data. Am I clear? Am I clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Next. Next. Shall I go next? Last. Part Last part of this chapter. So this uh, object diagram already we have seen. So this uh, object diagram already we have seen. Now what is that? Uh, uh, box. Box. This is, this is class. Class. Second, second, class, second class, and this was the uh, first class. But I have, but I have created, created one more object, object here. Box is first, first object. Box two, box two is second, second object. object. Now, how we have P1 and, and P2 here, right? Similarly, Similarly first object, first object second, object. second object. Now, now this both, both are having their own values. Their own values. Next. Next. Now, now, P1 equal to equal to P2. To P2. True, or True or false? Why it is, Why it is false? These both, These are, both different. are different. Okay. Okay. Next. Next. Uh, okay. Okay. Second object. Second object. Box, Box two equal to. to I am copying. copying. How we had copied, copied uh, P two from P one. Similarly, I am doing. Box two newly created object is being copied values of box first object. How do we use Box two equal to copy dot copy of first object. Next. Next. Box two, box two is box. No, no. false. Similarly, Similarly what we have written here. P1 is P1 P2. Is P2. Okay. Same thing. Box two, box is, two is box. False. false. Next. Next. Box, box two, two dot corner, corner is box dot corner. Dot corner. True, or True or false? Yes. Yes. Am I audible? Am I audible? Okay. Okay. Now tell, tell me why, why this is true. Box two dot, dot corner, corner is box dot corner. Dot corner. Why, it is why it is true? Why this? Why is this false? is false? See, See box, box two is one object. One object. Box, box is another object, object having different memory, memory locations. locations. But, but 
corner whatever attribute here we have this is single memory location this is an attribute an attribute is nothing but what it's a variable that variable can have only one memory location it means that this variable which have stored in one memory location can be accessed by any number of objects but but to access different objects all those different objects will be saved in different memory locations see you can see this from diagram see here can you see this box is having its own memory location box 2 is having its own its own memory location this is first memory and this is second memory location but this corner and here corner of this both are pointing to single variable location single memory location am i clear see the box its memory location is different box to its memory location is different but if we can come to x and y the attributes these are in single memory location i am i am accessing this memory location that is why box to dot corner, dot corner is box dot corner statement is valid it is true any doubts any doubts here any doubts any doubts no sir no sir okay okay next yeah see with respect to copying uh, we have two things one is a deep copy and another one is shallow copy now this whatever we have done this is shallow copy see this operation we call it as shallow copy because it copies the object and any references it contains but not the embedded objects what does this mean read this line This operation, this operation is called a shallow copy because it copies the object and any references it contains, but not the embedded objects. Which are the embedded objects here? Box two, box. All those are embedded objects. Next, next. Now one more copy we have, which is deep copy. What is this deep copy? We will see that example. Now I, now i create one more object, object box 3 we, we had box we had box 2 and next object created is box 3 so, so box 3 equal to copy dot deep copy of box okay it means now now box 3 is containing same content of box or box 2 now again box 3 is box it is false next box 3 dot corner is box dot corner it is false it is false why why earlier, earlier what we have seen box 2 dot 2 dot corner is box dot corner that is that is true now why this is this is false i have created one more, one more object box 3 i have copied it from box first object Okay now, okay now i am accessing the attributes, the attributes same attributes, attributes x and y using corner, using corner attribute of second class now box 3 dot corner is box dot corner now why this is false see box 3 and box are completely separate objects Yes. Yes. Anyone? 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 Okay, listen. Okay, listen. Box, box and box two are, are interconnected. Interconnected. Okay. See, it means those are embedded to each other. 
see this diagram we don't find the box box tree is not an embedded object of this when any object is not embedded okay. box 3 is not an embedded object of this when any object is not embedded of other objects then so this statement becomes false am i clear, am I clear? box box 2 are, are implicit, implicit. now now box 3 is, is explicit to box, box and box 2 am i clear am i clear am i clear Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So box three dot corner is box dot corner, which is false. Why? Box three does not belong to this mapping. I mean, this object diagram. Then now what I do? I extend this diagram. How to extend? I create one more such box here. Oh, I have here right this box with box two. Similarly, I draw it here. Here at the bottom. I draw here and I map. I draw here and I map. It has got its own width and it height. It means it has got now its own width and height. Now corner of box three, three I am mapping to x and y. Now box three, box three is again implicit, implicit to this diagram. This diagram. Now, now what happens, what happens to, this to this statement? This statement, this statement has become. This statement will become true now. True now. Why, Why I am mapped here? Unless, Unless and, and until I don't, I don't map, map here. here. This statement, this statement will be false. And I map, and I map there. there. Then, this, then will this will be true. Am I clear? Am I clear? Am I clear? Am I clear? Yes, sir. Okay. We'll stop, we'll stop here. here. Because we because have, we have webinar, webinar at 4.15, right? right? Four five six. Four. Four fifteen or four five. Four. Four fifteen or four five. Four five six. Four five. Four five. Okay, now stop here. Join webinar. Okay, sir.